guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know me by now my name is Trini lovely and today I'm gonna be doing a recommended video um, and this recommended video is for uh, one of the viewers that's asking how do you remove someone out of your life now to remove someone out of your life I want you to understand the power that you have in your life right so wherever you focus your energy is what you are going to allow to become the biggest maximized problem or benefit in your life. So if you are in a, in a position in your life where you feel like a person is attacking your relationship, um, hurting your relationship uh, with someone the more power you give that person by being bothered with that person, being fixated on that person, um, seeing or believing that this person has the influence over that person, it becomes dangerous um, to create a better atmosphere for you. Because what is going to happen is that you're going to be constantly in more of a depressive state, an angry state, a hatred state, because you're going to see the world set up like that for you because what you're doing is bringing that into your micro, right? So you're bringing that into your individual sphere of sensation, and you don't want to do that. So one of the first things that I do want you to do is think about your subconscious thoughts, Um and try to focus on the positivity that you're having with the relationship. Try to every day wake up and say to yourself five things each day that you're grateful for with the person that you are with. Right? So let's go into some Psalms um, and let's begin. So Psalm 1 is a psalm that can also use as a psalm for favor. Now I'm using a totally different book, a totally different psalm book from the original psalm books that I was using, which was more of a Kabbalah psalms books. And you can see the, the Elohims and the Hebrew knowledge in that book, um, even saying God's name in that book. I'm going to go now and use another book. And I want you to understand that each book holds a specific energy. Anytime someone reads a book, pours into a book, and many people are using that book, that book now creates its own sensation of an energy and you're now connecting to a energy. And that's what makes each book very strong, right? So if you were reading anything and... You're reading any Psalms book, it's, a, it's numerous thousands of people that's pouring energy, crying out to God within that book. So that was, that's what's making you actually have that zealous connection because it's definitely like a warrior prayer, right? So, so many people actually pouring energy into the Psalms. And, and I want you to keep in mind and remember that Psalms are magical chants, right? So if you are using psalms you're practicing as a practitioner to some degree right so sorry to tell people you are practicing as a practitioner by using a psalm because it's really a magical chant so in in this episode in this saga in this video i am going to give you a few psalms that you can use which you change in your subconscious mind not being so focused on the person because what you want to do is pull your power back you want to diminish the strength of that person that has a hold over your subconscious mind right so you want to make sure at the end of the day that you're looking at the positivity throughout your day the positivity throughout your relationship and really trying to take your subconscious thought process off that person where that person no longer have power over you and you're not giving that person any any energy. Energy at all. So Psalm 1. It says to diminish the strength of an enemy. This is a prayer to overcome 
the force of an enemy. So when you say Psalm 1, it's recommended for you to say it once. Psalm 2. Psalm 2 is used to destroy an enemy. And you only say in one verse, and that's Psalm. In that Psalm 2, you're only saying one verse, and that verse is 9. Now, it's requested for you to write the enemy's name on parchment paper of four corners of the paper and copy the verse of Psalm 9 and put it in the center. Place it beneath the black candle until it is burned out. Now, you know like the first part of the month is basically the time for you to attract what you want into life, right? So if I was going to use Psalm 1 and Psalm 2, I would be using Psalm 1 and Psalm 2 for me to, in the first part of the month, I'll be using it during this time for um, how to create. So I'll be using it more for like a favor Psalm, but then when the energies change and we're not underneath banishing energy where I'm trying to remove something this is the best time for you to actually remove something I think right now is underneath the time of you banishing something out of your life so if you are a person who's scared of candles a lot of people are scared of candles a lot of people are scared of using candles a lot of people don't understand there are four elements there's earth fire and water when you're using a candle, you're actually using fire element. You're connecting to the element of fire because you're burning this candle out. Now, when you're using this candle, the reason why they're recommended using a black candle, a black candle is used for to influence the earth, right? So this is the color that actually associates with the earth. So in order for you to associate and connect to the earth, it's being recommended that you're using the black candle. Now, some people are very wary of using a black candle. They're scared to use a black candle. They don't want to use a black candle. They don't want to use anything black. Then you can still use a white candle. A white candle can also act as a color that if you don't have a red, a green, a blue, a yellow, when it's recommended to use those colors, they're, they are recommended for you to use a white candle. So if you are uncomfortable using black candle, you can also use a white candle. Now this one, as far as using parchment paper, this is really, you're acting as a practitioner. You're basically performing magic with the Psalms. Um, so when you are using parchment paper, parchment paper is very magical, right? So just to to write a psalm on parchment paper you're actually making it more potent versus you're just reading it right so you can read it and you can write it on parchment paper now as far as the four corners of the paper it's like representing the four corners of the earth now i'm not familiar with doing this ritual i've never did this ritual before but it is in the book now have i used psalms to create my whole lifestyle and create what i wanted in life absolutely I have done that now um, have I have I created things that I want absolutely so you have to keep in mind that when you are performing any kind of magical chants and they're asking you to do a ritual with the with the magical chants it becomes more potent to do than just actually saying it right so it's 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 more of a more in definite connection um, that you're going to be having as you're tapping into this energy to create what you want as far as destroying this enemy. Now, keep in mind, you're not listing what you want to happen to the enemy. You're going to make God be the one to make your decision for you of how it plays out. But you're basically with the intent 
of remembering what the person have done to you and you're releasing it. You're saying, I need this person to be removed. I no longer want this enemy around me. I no longer want this enemy um, controlling me. I no longer want this enemy influencing me. I no want this enemy a part of my life. And at this time, this person has no more control over me. So that's the, that's the subconscious thought process that you're going in when you're actually performing this ritual with the psalm. So I'm going to say it again. You're recommended to write the person's name on a parchment paper at the four corners of the paper. So that's the, top, the two parts of the top, two parts at the bottom. And then you're going to copy... The verse 9 in the center of the paper, place it beneath the black candle. You're not writing anybody's name on the black candle. You're not carving into the black candle. But you're actually going to burn the candle out during the time of banishing energy. And I will actually um, put a, a calendar where it's going to be showing you the calendar with the moon phases where you're going to be able to understand which time is banishing and which time is to attract all right so that's psalm one that's psalm two and we're moving forward now i'm not sure um what you're trying to achieve when you are you know, trying to move this person out um, of your life. Um, so there are other Psalms, and I'm just going to give you a few more. And it states um, you can use Psalm 9. And it says you can use Psalm 5. Okay, let's go back. Psalm 9, verse 5. And it says, Thou hast rebuked the heathen. You can use verse 6. O thou enemy, destructions are coming. Well, are, are come to a perpetual end, right? So, it's ba basically... Um, they want you to also use place the um, parchment paper beneath the black candle which is lighted and burn it out until it's consumed and when they're saying burn it out it may take numerous days for you to actually burn out that candle so this is to overcome all evil forces um, they also um, recommend that you say the Psalm 9 and the whole Psalm 9 and this is to, re to reduce the power of the enemy and then it says God is my salvation I will trust and I will not be afraid and these are the Psalms that I'm going to use for you to actually get started and, and remove this person out of your life. And again, I, like I said, I'm not um, sure what's the intent, um, what's behind the person um, removing. But I, I want you to understand, don't wish that person any kind of harm and let God be the one to um, intervene with how that person is going to be removed out of your life. But also keep in mind that once you have done these things underneath the banishing energy, and if you want, you can pretty much light the candle um, and keep relighting the candle as until it's completely done underneath the time of the banishing energy so you could kind of remove this negativity energy out of your life now again um these are psalms 
that you can use to remove um, someone who's causing you harm. This is a foe. This is an enemy that you want to use. The request um, way of doing the psalm is requested for you using a candle. Is requested for you to use the black candle. I will list the ritual in between the um, in the video so you can actually have a better in-depth so you don't have to watch a video 10 times to find out what I'm saying but um, it's gonna be listed step by step what to do but also I want you to keep in mind your subconscious thoughts your subconscious mind plays a major role you can give light to someone if you're not giving them your energy you can put your energy and focus on a person and I know sometimes people are in an experience in, in, in their life where sometimes they feel like things can never change, things can never stop. It's written in stone. They're in this negative place in their life and they're like, okay, nothing is going to change. But if you can't have that kind of mind frame, right? So you can't think to yourself, nothing is going to change and it's going to continue to be the same. Because then what you're doing is actually creating that on your path right so it's like if you are a christian let's say you was a christian before you're a christian now or you're a spiritual person and you understand religion right you know that um that's like having faith and believing that this person has power over you what you want to do is take your power back right so you want to make sure that if you are going to do underneath the banishing time this is the best time to actually remove negative energy um you have to understand that you also have to give up that negative energy you have to not hold on to that negative energy you have to not believe in that negative energy so that any negative energy can be released um and again if you are not comfortable with using the candle that's black you can also use a white candle so you can actually remove that negative energy now i know that it's it's numerous people that actually underneath the time of banishing they'll write and list everything that they don't want in their life and burn that whole candle out this is not the time to do that this is a, this is the time to only concentrate of removing the person that you believe is the enemy that you believe is causing you destruction in your life this is the time to actually remove the forces that's behind that person right so if that person is being driven by any kind of negative forces where this person is constantly attacking your relationship attacking you then you can say to some that doesn't mean if you still see the person hanging around that this person still have control over you the control is with you you have control over your own life um but you can back up forces you can push forces back you can you can make a force understand that you have power here you know you don't have to um literally take every negative things that comes your way you know you can be at peace and being at peace starts with you it starts with your th thought process your subconscious mind and that's how um life really operates right so if you are a person that's negative nasty hurtful depressed all these things then it, then it's going to be a vibration of frequency around you so the best thing to do is i would suggest that you put yourself in um a higher vibration and a higher frequency right so you should definitely start working on the energies that's around you so you could remove that negativity energy as well so you can actually create a better atmosphere around yourself right um and try underneath these times of trying to move negative energy you're gonna have to try to work on yourself to have less negative energy around you as well so keep that in mind all right so thank you for watching i will see you back on thursday i wanted to um thank the people that reached out to me saying that they missed my videos and they were really interested in the psalms and i'm doing this videos for you guys because i wasn't too sure that i was even going to come back and do back psalm videos again because i wasn't too sure you guys was even watching those contents but i did happen to look at the analytics and i was looking at the comments and i saw so many comments that i didn't even answer um and i wanted to make sure that i was able to 
um, tell you which psalms to use and if you guys have any other things that's going on in your life and you wanted me to tell you which psalm to say um, to remove these forces or to gain some kind of help and access to have a better life you can comment below and let me know and I'll make a video for you telling you what psalms to use but it may get a little magical here guys um, all right so keep that in mind and thank you for watching this is Trini lovely and tune in next week Thursday